Hello and welcome to another review. Today we've got Spider-Man uh, Lily. Uh, I just saw someone post on my Facebook. It was a uh, Lily uh, Four uh, set, which uh, included uh, the Black Widow. So if you saw my other video of the IQ blocks, then I guess I won't be keeping that Black Widow. I'll be kind of keeping the uh, Lily Black Widow, you know, like an upgrade. Um, and uh, after this video, I uh, will be filming the next review which is the Xing Yuan uh, bootleg release see the box right there, oh, really blurry uh, which is sort of odd that Lily and Xing Yuan both release uh, Spider-Man sets at the same time uh, so you know, uh, I'm gonna make an extra video like a special video, uh, so specifically comparing the two sets side by side, along with um, an extra box uh, which I got um, this box is uh, from uh, Kaiji, which you can see on eBay, quite all these sets, and uh, you know, so compare them like that, along with uh, updates. By the way, quick update: all the older Xing Yuan uh, sets that didn't have back printing now have back printing, including uh, the Iron Man right there. So uh, also the newer Iron Man from Xing Yuan don't have glitter in the plastic anymore. Uh, so that's uh, something to watch out for. Anyway, box, 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 box. Uh, box is pretty standard, I guess. This is just Spider-Man, and uh, in this version, the suit he's uh, it's Photoshop and some sort of digital art rendering. Uh, same with the uh, other Lily, Lily, Lily box that they've been doing. And uh, he, he comes with uh, a stage, some cards, and two orange tentacles. Now being Lily and all that, they all come with a uh, two Star Wars, uh, a Star Wars rifle and a Star Wars blaster. So yeah, 6 to 12, um, Ultimate Spider-Man. Got the different, four different Spider-Man suits on the top. Comes with cards inside. Show you a basic assembly guide and uh, you know, pretty cool uh, photoshopping on the back, which of course contains a suit that does not exist in this set. This pretty cool black suit, um, almost like it's infected by a venom thing going on, but uh, nope, uh, we don't have that. Just a generic warning thing that we've seen a million times at the bottom. So, oh, box to the side, we got venom. And uh, of course, I will be taking photos of all of these boxes and posting them on Facebook. You can get the link below. And that was Black Suit Spider Man, I apologize. Here's Venom. Another Spider Man suit. Uh, Spider Man fans, please tell me who, what uh, versions of these suits are, by the way. Uh, because the only one I recognize is, uh, you know, you got the new version Spider-Man suit, the one for Spider-Man 2, you got the Scarlet Spider black suit, but uh, there's two of them, I'm not really sure what suits they are. I uh, don't know what the white suit's for. Probably not pretty awesome. And here's a Scarlet Spider, I just, what was he, like a clone or something? And of course, they come with cards. Uh, all the cards are cost random. So, I'm gonna do a zoom and focus. So, I got the Scar Spider. None of these have numbers, I'll have a Ninjago thing going on. So, uh, I bought two sets and uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, six scarred spider cards, by the way, that's what they look like on the back. White spider man, they're all pretty much just a box art in card form again. All of the white spider man. Uh, Venom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, a version of spider man suit. One, two, three, four, five. 
classic Spider-Man suit. Two, three, four, five. Black suit Spider-Man. One, two, three, four. Uh, Spider-Man 2, I believe. One, two, three, four. That was number four. Uh, another Spider-Man card. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten of these. Uh, in terms of card quality, it's a uh, it's standard Lily quality. Uh, not too grey, not too shabby. Quite thick. Quite durable. Um, print quality is all these are quite sharp. It says for the image in the middle, sort of varies, and because the uh, CG is a bit odd at times. Hmm. So let's uh, go right ahead to the minifigures. First of all, like I said, all these some of these uh, Stars Blasters, one each, and also one each of these uh, rifles. And all of them come with sort of venom-like tentacles, uh, color depending on different suits. Uh, so let's get the, uh, I guess the boring ones, out of the way first. So uh, Spider-Man Two suit is two of them. Hmm. Oh, the light's not shining on them. That's not good. Ah, there we go. Light. Let there be light. Uh, and, and for comparison's sake, here's the original Spider-Man 2 suit. And you see it's pretty close. Uh, the colors, of course, um, the silver lines are thicker on the Lily, so the details are less fine. Uh, but the colors of the plastic is correct. And um, the uh, sort of shadows on the uh, torso are slightly darkened as well. Uh, the face is also slightly stretched. And uh, by the way, when you pop open one of these Lady figures, it's, uh, it's identical mold, wise, same shape. I also note that these two have different stages. The <laughs> this one is the Lady block, themed after the movie. This one also says the Lady block, also themed after the movie. But this one's a big block and a small block. It's uh, pretty much random in the packs um, if they're using the newer, bigger ones or the smaller ones. Quick look on the back, it's printed quite well, actually. So that's that's nice. Uh, but of course it is nothing like the official, it's completely different and there's no back head printing. Next up we have uh, a copy of the more uh, modern Spider-Man suit. Here he is, the white eyes, so the heads are pretty much identical, uh, of course uh, no back printing. Uh, the color is pretty much spot on, and uh, but the printing, however, um, instead of sort of grey chest muscles, it's sort of printed with silver, which uh, makes it pop out a lot more than the uh, official mini figure. And because the uh, mini figure looks like that on the back, and that's what these looks like. We've got a, like really weird spider shape going on. So sort of yeah, it's very different. And now you might be wondering why this one's missing a hand. Well. <laughs> You see here, he's missing quite a bit of plastic and the hand doesn't stay in, so... Quality control... Um, yeah, I'm gonna... Find if I have a spare blue arm from one of the other bootlegs, maybe. So, uh, if not, then I have to take that apart, because, you know, okay. I'm not keeping these, so there's no way I can sell these guys with arm missing and such, so... Yeah. Moving on, and that one comes with uh, orange uh, tentacles. By the way, let's take a look at the uh, tentacles. They come in three colors, brown, black, and orange. So, um, here's the orange one. Uh, it is relatively soft rubber, plastic, so just like official pieces. Uh, I don't know if official LEGO does have orange, but uh, these are pretty spot on. I like these, these are good. So if you want a lot of these tentacles, you can pick up this bootleg and use them, because Spider-Man ain't going to use them. In fact, I might use these for custom alien tails. Uh, you get loads of these, great. 
And now all of them come with an extra hand of the color from the minifigure. So if they use this red hand, there's an extra red hand and such. So uh, that's one thing. Uh, next, let's move on to let's move on to this one. Another slight variation of the suit. Uh, really odd, very low pixelated, low resolution printing. Especially if you look at the blue area of the suit, it's just like, ah, oh, what the hell happened? Uh, very newspaper-esque, I guess, as you can see, the classic uh, dailies, Spider-Man suit, because the blue has pretty much got a lot of white dots on it to simulate it being a lighter color. It's, this one's misprinted even more. It's sad. Um, and the head is pretty much the same as the, all the other designs, the silver printing. So, but uh, with white eyes, it's like a combination of the uh, two heads from the two minifigures we just saw. This is what it looks like on the back. Uh, I mean, that looks okay, I guess. But, uh, kind of boring, really. Not, not too much to say about this one. So, uh, turning up the uh, ISO a little bit for the brightness. Yeah, very, very dark. Since that, that one looks even darker than that one. But uh, the head is pretty much a white variation of the head and eyes, but uh, the netting is a lot um, not uh, fuller, uh, more, uh, what do you call it, more intense. And here's what it looks like in the back, just a generic sort of spider logo printed right there. Nothing too special. Oh, now I've got the boring ones out of the way, next let's move on to the Scarlet Spider, which I'm definitely keeping one for myself. Pretty good silver eyes going on. Pretty sharp printing there, of course, uh, printing on the hips as well to extend the image. And uh, yeah, the slight tilted spider on the back. Uh, pretty cool minifigure, especially when uh, LEGO doesn't have one officially. Next, uh, black suit Spider Man. He has a great body. I don't think it's pretty sharp on these guys. Um, would have preferred it to be entirely black, but uh, whatever, that's what I get, I guess. Because the no back head printing and just a generic sort of spy logo on the back. Uh, Venom. Uh, comparing to Venom will be in the next video, pretty much. Actually, no, I should compare him now. Forgot to get him out. On the uh, cupboard. Oh, Venom. Where are you? Oh, there you are. You're still standing on that car. Uh, because actual Venom comes with all these tentacles that come with these sets. Which is where they got the idea from. And a backpack of tentacles. Can I get off? his back. Come on, come off. <sighs> Jesus Christ. There he is. Uh, yeah, pretty much exact copy in terms of design. But uh, the head is printed a lot bigger on these guys and the black doesn't seem as black. Same as in the back. Um, details are a lot finer here. But uh, overall, these are good uh, replacements if you can't get hold of Venom, but you should be able to because Venom's everywhere, really. So finally, you got the uh, white suit Superman, Superman, <laughs> Spider Man, which is awesome. I, I like this one. Well, that one anyway. That one's slightly misprinted. But uh, these Spider Man white ones are pretty cool. I like this one a lot. And a uh, really nasty spider printed there. That one just really misprinted. So sad day for this guy. So yeah, that's all these uh, Spider-Man figures for the Lily Spider-Man set. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Are you guys going to pick a set of these up? 
definitely think they are absolutely horrid. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, subscribe, suggest, and comment below. I'm trying to get all this Spider Man in this set uh, in the photo. And uh, yeah, take care and have a nice day. Bye.